everybody, welcome back to more RPG Maker MC Tutorials. In this lesson, we will go over how to make your Game Over screen much cooler. Firstly, let's make a Game Over tester to test this Game Over screen. So what we're going to do is make a new event, and let's just call it Game Over Test. That should be good. And now let's grab something from our assets. Hmm, let's see. How about... no, no... Oh yeah, let's use this. Let's just turn on direction fix. And what we're going to do is have it go to the game over screen. So we're going to go to scene control in the third tab, which is this one game over. Alright. Now let's test to see what our game over screen looks like. As you can see, this is a pretty simple game over screen. It's a simple game over screen. It gets the job done, but if you want, we can make it a whole lot better with the CGMC plugin game over. So let's go to our plugins and add a new plugin, which is this game over plugin. All right. So, let's start by, by looking at all these options here. We have the game over image variable, the game over music variable, the images, and the music. So, let's start by, let's start by going over, let's see, we're going to grab the music of our choice for this game over. I'm going to prepare two variables for this game over plugin. So we're going to go to an event. And we're going to go to control variables. You can do this from any event, by the way. Wait, no. Game over image. And this one will be game over music. All right, this looks good. Now we hit apply and OK. Now we hit cancel, so, so we don't want to change that event variable. So let's go to our plugin. So the game over image variable will be this one. And our game over music variable will be this one, the game over music variable. All right, now for the images. I prepared these images in advance, but you can have these wherever you want. I prefer to have them in the pictures tab just for safety. So we're going to have game over female and we go back to the pictures tab and I have the game over male one as well. Oh yeah, I also prepared this music in advance. Oh, this is the default game over. Now let's make an event that changes the variable that we use our game over with. You know what, let's do it in here just to save storage space. Alright. 
And we just copy this, paste it there. Copy this, paste it there. Now change the variable to this one. And let's test. Let's do a test to make sure this works. Now we interact with this. Let's just choose the first game over screen and the first game over music. As you can see, we have this new and improved game over screen that I made myself, which includes the protagonist down, and it also includes these two commands, continue, which loads a previous save file, and to title, which is self-explanatory, and it goes straight back to the title screen. Let's test the other combination. As you can see, we have a completely different one. Now let's try continue, and it loads the, and it, and it loads the save that we previously got from the autosave. Now what if you don't like the names of the commands? That's okay, we could just go to our plugin and change it. Oh, there's also an option if you don't want the command window to be there and you just want it to go straight back to the title screen. You could set this to false. So we're gonna change the to title to say it's going to be It's going to be simply quit. All right. Now that we have this all game over stuff plug in, we are now ready to do our full test. Oh, by the way, let's see what happens if we set them both to zero. We still have the game over text. What's going on is that if you set them both to zero, it goes to the to default to the default value in the list. Let me just show you. So what we could so to show this, we're gonna to go to game, open folder, and we're going to look at the image system folder. It pulls the game over screen from this image. Also aptly titled game over PNG. What it also does is grabs the default music used for the game over. This is seen in System 1 in music right here. That's everything you need to know about how to make a cool game over screen. Make sure to make your game over screen the same resolution as your game and and it'll be really easy to do from there. This is this is RPG Maker MC Tutorials and I'll see you guys next time.